I am the Nature Hacker, and this is your world. Today I want to talk about um, Blogger, the website maker, and um, how to make, I mean, this is not how to make pages and links to tags. If you want to do that, just Google that on its own, or maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a good link in the description for that, but this is something advanced, something that nobody else really knows how to do. And that is how to get your page links. So okay, basically what we're doing here, here's my website here, uh, thenaturehacker.blogspot.com in case you want to check it out. Um, but what we have here, see under um, Nature Hacker there is these links there, kind of in the center of your screen. Um, and those links, that bar of links there, you can click on each one and it will bring you to certain tags. So you basically, each of your posts you tag with a certain tag and this will be in the link I gave you in the description. And if you go down to the bottom of your blog you'll see a list of all of those uh, tags. I guess it's called, it's called labels. So all of those labels. So you can click on one of those and it will bring you to all your posts that you label with that certain um, that certain label. And you know if you go to if you go into I believe it's layout and you know pages and what you do is you make each of those lay those labels into one of your page buttons in that bar at the top of your screen. So anyway, so that's where we're at. But, um, when you do that, it only shows the first 20 posts of each of the labels, and then you have to click see older posts to see the rest, but, I mean, a lot of people are going to click the label and go to the bottom and just think, oh, you only have 20 results. So they're not going to see all of the, uh, all of the posts that you have under that label. <clears throat> so, I figured out how to actually get all your posts to show up and it's a, it's a URL code so if you go to one of these labels um, and so what you do is you click on one of those labels at the bottom of your screen there and if I copy this uh, link here I'm gonna put it in notes so I can show it to you easier alright so it will look like this. That will be what your link looks like. It's pretty basic. Now, if you click, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna bring you to this. If you go to that link, and then you scroll down, and you'll see something going to be on the right side of your screen here it's that little little teeny bit of text that says older posts right there I don't know if you can see that older posts you want to click that you click that now that brings you you know to a screen that probably has no post on it like that now you're gonna to want to get that URL, so I'm gonna I'm gonna copy that URL in my address bar there, and I'm going to paste it into Notes so I can show it to you. There's the URL there. Now notice that is a lot longer. So that's, that's after I clicked that older post button, copied that URL that was in the address bar up there. So this, is, this has got some interesting things in it. Um, first it has an updated max, it has max results, and start, and by date. So max, updated results, start, and by date. So, 
I'm going to show you how to modify this so that it shows you all of your posts. And then what you'll have is you'll have this URL that will show you all of the posts. And now when you go to make your page button, you know, it asks for, you know, the URL. It says external link or whatever, external link URL. You're going to want to paste in this updated code. So notice how right after um, it says label slash about um, let's see if I can do that. It says label slash about uh, percent twenty me question mark updated dash max equals, and then notice how it says like two thousand fifteen six twenty five whatever. Delete all of that and leave updated max equals. So delete all of the twenty fifteen oh six stuff and replace that with zero so what we're what we're telling it is um, to not use an updated max so updated max means like the max date that it'll show so I change that updated max to zero if you can see that alright so that's the first step next step is that max results thing so you'll notice how it says after updated max equals zero, it says max results equals 20. I wish I could change that to zero and just have infinite max results. I thought that worked at one time, but right now it doesn't seem to be working. So what I do is I just do max results 5,000. Just so it gives me a ton of max results there. So it's like I'm never going to hit 5,000 posts. So we're safe. Even if I did hit 5,000 posts, I could just remake the button and make it 10,000. So, not a problem. Now, after that, you'll see the start equals 20. So that means that it will start on the 20th post, which we obviously don't want. We don't want it to start on the zero post. So I'm going to change that to zero. Start equals zero. And it says date equals fall or by date equals false. I think that's fine. And then the M equals one just means it's gonna be desktop, I think. I think M equals zero is mobile. You can mess around with that. Alright, so that's our completed code. So I'm going to make this into a button. Show you how it works. Actually I'm not really gonna do that because it's going to be hard to show you all of that, and I don't really want to mess up with my buttons. But, what I can do, maybe is show you that I have that done. I don't know, I mean, you can take my word for it, and uh, just create the page with that. And obviously leave a comment if it doesn't work, but it's going to work, because I did it for all my buttons. I can show you here at one of my buttons. Alright, so under health remedies my health remedies button that has uh, I think 29 posts in it so I was missing nine posts before I did this but ah uh, this is gonna be hard I don't know I can't really show you but I can bring you down to the bottom here anyway there's the bottom. I know I can't really show you at all, but anyway, just take my word for it. Use that, um, and I will make a link in the description to uh, how to actually make these buttons. Um, I don't really want to go into it here. I don't have the setup <laughs> to be able to show you that, so I will link to that. So um, please comment. Let me know um, if it works for you. Obviously, it will because I've kept I've done it 20 times. Anyway, thanks for watching. Nature Hacker, signing off.